Hi, this is Galit Gofarb and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week, I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier, and happier place, and I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. Today, the quote of the day is, it's very simple. Just look at where your life is to see where you're heading. You're always in the momentum of something by Maria Irving. Now, how are you today? I hope all is well and fine with you. Now, we are always in the process of moving towards something, whether this is something that we want or something that we do not want. But if you're interested in moving your life forward to a better place, you must consider the path that you are currently on and where you are headed with this path. So let's say that you are at a crossroads in your life and there are many paths that you can take. And let's say that these paths are one directional. So if you choose any path, it will lead you to a very specific outcome. Now let's say that you can always get off the path that you're on and change to a different path. But so long as you're doing the same things, thinking the same thoughts, you are sticking to the path that you are on with the results that you have achieved up till now. Okay, now let's say that you want to understand this and want to change paths to one of a better destination. How do you know what to do and what you need to do next? And as the saying goes, how do you build up the momentum to help you through in a new direction? Well, I wanna teach you how you can use an amazing tool to help you improve your life and reach the best version of yourself so that you'll be in the momentum of creating the best life for you. Now this tool is something that can be used once every month or two to help you focus your attention on what you want to improve in your life so that you can be your absolute best. Now I'm introducing the the tool. The tool is Abraham Maslow's Hierarchy of uh, Needs Pyramid. Now you definitely want to incorporate this tool as I will explain to you in a minute into your life to make sure that you're on track towards the life that you desire. So Abraham Maslow was a psychologist and a researcher who suggested the hierarchy of human needs. Now the hierarchy pyramid requires that the conditions of the first level must be met so that you can move on to the second level. Uh, There are five levels in the pyramid. So if you want to move on between the levels from one to the next, then you must um, accomplish that level. Now the hierarchy triangle has a broad base that becomes smaller as you grow up the pyramid. So the first base is the biggest and it's slowly you go up uh, uh, to the top to the point of the pyramid. And uh, you can see in a link that I'll put in the picture, uh, a link to the picture that I'll put in the description of this video of uh, the uh, pyramid of uh, the hierarchy of needs of uh, Abraham Maslow. Now, the hierarchy of needs triangle is divided into five layers, as I said. So each layer represents a different type of human need. And all the levels below the very topmost level are what is known as what are known as deficiency needs, meaning that you won't be able to focus pretty much on anything else until those needs are met. The deficiency needs include from the bottom base of the triangle, two levels of physiological needs. So the first two levels are physiological needs. The base level includes uh, having enough food, water, and a place to live and clothing. Basically, these are all of our survival needs. Now the next physiological needs level includes safety, security, health, and minimal financial needs. Then the next two levels uh, that as you go up, third and the fourth level, represent our psychological needs. So the third level of the triangle and the first of the psychological needs is your need for belonging and to, uh, to be loved and to have basically a connection with other people in a meaningful way. And the fourth level, which is the second of the psychological uh, needs and the last of all these deficiency needs, includes the desire to feel accomplished and successful and respected by other people. Now, once all of these four needs are met, then you can finally focus on realizing your full potential 
which is the self-actualization level of the pyramid. Self-actualization is not a defi deficiency need, but rather it is an abundance need, meaning that the more it is met, the more you will want to continue to do more of it. Now, this level leads you to accomplishing your highest potential and being the best version of yourself. The desire to achieve self-actualization is, uh, as Abraham Maslow says, is inside each and every one of us. And for every person, self-actualization means something else. But before you reach it, you must focus on addressing all of your deficiency needs, which will help you become happier and self-assured and ready to take the leap towards self-actualization. So how do I recommend using this tool, this pyramid tool? Well, you want to examine where you are in this moment in the triangle levels. When I wanted to show one of my clients why he was feeling so bad in his life about, about himself and his life, I showed him that basically none of his needs were currently met. And that's why he could not be happy. And he actually turned to drugs to save himself from the misery that he was feeling. Now, although he did have a shelter, as Abraham Maslow called a house, he did have a place to live. He was living with his mother, who did not want him there. And he was really miserable there. Now, something that I found out, and I must say, is, uh, and it's not mentioned um, in the hierarchy of needs, is that even if you do have uh, a certain area in your life on the pyramid, but you are very unhappy with that area, uh, then it's still considered unfulfilled. For example, if you're living in, in a house that you cannot stand, or as I mentioned with this client of mine, if you're living with relatives and you are suffering, or you are in a job or a marriage or anything for that matter that you are very unhappy with, then this need is not considered satisfied and you will not feel ready to move on to the next level in the hierarchy of needs pyramid until you sort out that need, even if you do have it, until it's feeling good for you. Now, this client that I was talking about also did not have his health because he was addicted to drugs and he did not have the love and support of his mother. He also had no job, so he was not feeling accomplished. So how could he really be happy if none of his needs are met? So when you see for yourself where you are in terms of your needs in this uh, pyramid, then you will know where you need to place your focus so that you can reach the self-actualization stage for you. Without going through the process of making yourself better, you cannot realize your full human potential. And once you embrace uh, this advancing your personal state, then you can learn more about your true human potential and move yourself towards that place. You will improve yourself, your, your life in the areas that are necessary and important for you to improve and you can start living the best possible life for you. So I really recommend looking at the picture of this uh, pyramid, the hierarchy of needs, going through each stage, understanding what the, this level, each level is about and examining that in your life and then um, seeing how you can sort out that part of your life to move you to the next level. So as I always do with these videos, I will provide you with a question that you want to ask yourself so that you will answer uh, it and the answer will help you move your life to a better place. So the question of the day is, where am I on the hierarchy of needs pyramid and what can I start to do today to move me up a level towards self-actualization? Now, as usual, I recommend writing the question and your answer in a notebook that you have especially prepared for these coaching sessions so that you can look over them from time to time and see how you're improving your life and it will remind you you'll remember that you can use these tools because basically what I'm giving you every uh, day is a new tool that you can use to improve your life. So you can go over the tools that you have already and see uh, what you do have and how you can improve your life with what you do have. Now the affirmation of the day is, I am knowledgeable and moving towards the best version of me. I am knowledgeable and moving 
towards the best version of me. Now tell this to your yourself as many times as you remember to do so today because with repetition and affirmation has the ability to alter your mindset so that you think and behave differently for a better, happier life for you. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. Uh, I upload a video practically every single day, and uh, except for once a week where I take a break. And please also visit my website at thegorilladiet.com where you can have lots of um, information, programs, books to help you improve your life, especially anything to do with your health. Thank you very much for joining.